Afternoon guys, so I'm just out for a walk with the dog, Snoop Dog, and um, it's taken me all afternoon to get, uh, well, all morning and all afternoon to get out because, again, it's just been absolutely chucking it with rain, which is just really bloody annoying. Hello, Mr. Pheasant. Um, so, yeah, finally getting out with the dog to go and do a little bit of exercise, and yeah, it's. Um, yeah, just almost depressing. Yesterday we were good on the weather, which was good. I was photographing uh, a friend Charlotte yesterday with her owls. She owns the Kent Owl Academy and runs that. And uh, we just did a bit of a photo shoot and a uh, friend Chris came along. He did some shots as well. And yeah, it was just a nice day out, which is great for once. Um, but then back to the gr daily grind as such. And as you can see there, it's just miserable and a bit um, dull, to be fair. Which, a little bit annoying, but never mind, there's nothing we can do about it. Uh, but hey, hey, onwards and upwards, and it's now heading into spring. And, you know, it is getting warmer, which means longer days, a little bit better weather, hopefully. And you know, more photography um, opportunities. So, yeah, really, really looking forward to getting through this year a little bit more. Uh, didn't really have a winter, though, well, apart from the rain. We didn't really have any uh, cold ones, really. No snow, no... Um, a few frosts, but nothing too bad. Uh, yeah, no, it's um, but as you can hear, it's just wet. <laughs> so, so, what are you doing? He's desperate, he can smell the deer. There'll be deer tracks. Well, there are deer tracks, I can see them. But, um, wait. He's desperate to uh, try and follow them. Can you stop pulling? Heel. Okay, he's trying to find something. <laughs> um, but yeah, photography wise, um, the A93 is obviously out, loads of people are loving it, loads of people are moaning about it, um, the usual, you know, nothing uh, out of the ordinary there, but um, you know, it is what it is, tech is tech, and that's one thing I was going to talk about today was where a camera's going, you know, they're about as good as they ever really, ever really need to be, with extra reallys. <laughs> uh, I use the A1, as you might know, the RX10, and the A6700 as well, and they all do an amazing job. It doesn't matter what I'm photographing, I've kind of got the opportunities to capture something very, very well. Um, and, you know, it they do an amazing job. When you've got these people moaning all the time, constantly, about firmware updates and all that sort of stuff, when they all work brilliantly, yeah, okay, newer cameras have got different features, and stuff like that, yeah, fine. It's gonna happen. You get it's called a progression, you know, and that's what happens. They can't necessarily update every camera or another camera to match the newer ones. One, because they don't want you to uh, not buy the new one, and two, hardware changes. So, you know, if you think about it, say for example the A1, everyone's hoping the A1's gonna get a, a firmware update of some sort. Um, well, you don't, we don't know as a consumer how much the processors and memory... Oh, spider web in the face. Processors and memory are actually doing. You know, is the A1 flat out most of the time? Probably not, but... So, um, you know, there's a lot involved in this the computerised world of technology. So, you know, we don't know what the process is up to, you know. Um, also, we don't know either if that, if a process is happening in the, in the camera, is that gonna have a huge effect on something else? And if it's not possible, they're not gonna do it. So, you know, there's lots of ways and means, but also lots of no-nos sometimes. So, yeah, unfortunately, it's just uh, a little buzzard. Not that we're going to see it, but he's just gone up in the tree 
just in the distance there. Um, one of the <laughs> where's he going? Uh, one of the best things ever so far, though, which has changed the way I record videos. Uh, one for this YouTube is the Pocket Three, which I'm recording on now. Uh, absolute beast! It is possibly one of the best things I've ever bought. Um, the fact it just goes in the pocket. You get about an hour and a half's worth of record time out of the battery, but the fact you can fast charge it back up to 80 or 90 percent in about 15 minutes, which means you can have a little bit of a, you know, a um, little bit of a break while it's charging up again, and off you go. Um, or you can just plug it into a power bank or whatever. Anyway, well, that's neat. Um, here he goes. Yeah, absolute game changer. Also, where I'm starting, well, where I've started to do. Um, Oh, puddles. Well, I've started to do um, estate agency or real estate uh, photos. No, come down. Uh, yeah, real estate, estate agency um, photographs, videos, and stuff. The Pocket 3 has been invaluable. It's absolutely brilliant for uh, doing properties, walking around, also panning into the room. So, what I've been doing which is a little tip for anybody who does it and hasn't got one of these yet or if they're thinking about getting one is the Pocket 3 you can obviously put it on tripod I put it behind the door so you literally pull the door closed but put your, um, put your hand around the door and put the camera as close to the door as possible Snoop, what are you doing? Um, you can literally smell the deer What have you found? Are you looking? This is why he's not off the lead, because he would disappear, wouldn't you? Huh? No. Don't tell Tommy you're on the on the um, on the video. He might get a little bit um, upset. Anyway, um, so yeah, the what you do is you put your uh, pocket three on the um, oh my god on the tripod, walk out the room, shut the door behind you, but obviously put the camera on the tripod behind the door as close as you can get it. And then you can do panning stuff with your phone. So you can actually move the camera in the room. Sometimes the rooms aren't big enough or whatever just for photos. But it means you can do a pan from left to right or up and down or whatever you want to do. Um, in in there without it being in the room, which is really helpful. And I've done that quite a few times now. It just gives you a different look. But also the distortion on this lens is actually really good. It's not very much at all. Uh, which way are we going, Snoop? Where's the... Thing. Um, so yeah, absolutely fantastic bit of kit. That's one thing. Obviously, walking around stabilised, and it's small. Quality is awesome. Um, using it yesterday with uh, Charlotte at the Owl Academy, doing a little bit of video here or there. And it actually gives you quite a nice. No, this way. This way. No, this way. Um, that's it. It gives you quite a good weight. Oh god, this is going to be really muddy. Um, gives you quite a good little shallow depth of field. Um, I don't even know about now. What's that look like? Look, not too bad. Well, this could be interesting. There's been a lot of water. Um, let's go that way, mate. That's a good boy. Snoop. He's quite good, this boy. He's he's um, rescue this way. Let's wait. Good boy. Wait. This is slippery. Wait. Good lad. He didn't really know the word wait much. Wait. Excuse me. He's quite conscientious. He will wait for you if he knows it's a bit sketch. What the cool thing is though, um, he's a bit of a rescue dog. I've sort of taught him quite a few bits, like this way and stuff. Check this old bridge out. Pretty mad, isn't it? It's got a roof to it, or did have a roof to it. Anything like that. It's pretty mad. Hidden away. But it doesn't make sense. <laughs> There's a 20 foot, 25 foot drop there and a 25 foot drop there. So why is there a bridge there? I really don't understand. Anyway. Right, you come on. Come on. Come on, that's it. You know the way. I think. Well, you know the way to the deer. Uh, so, yeah. 
Um, but this camera is wicked. Oh, honestly, the Pocket 3, one of the best things I've ever bought. If you're into video and um, we want to get into it, it's one of the best things you could buy. Literally. Some people have been slagging it off. A lot of people have realised, actually, it's a bit of a game changer. That's where I almost fall on my arse. Here, a woodpecker. And obviously having a... Oh, Snoop, this way. Th this side. That's it, good lad. Um, having the gimbal over... Um, Stabilised like on your phone. Oh, Christ, it's going to be slip. Um, it's just a small, smoother, more fluid view. You know what, Doug? That's slipper, isn't it? Um, oh, shit. <laughs> so, wait there. No, no, don't come back. Uh, where are you going? Come here. Wait. Good lad. Wait. Oh, trust. Hang on, wait for me. Wait, there. That no, doesn't mean come back. This is the trouble with him. He just wants to be part of it all. Bless him, he's got a heart of gold. Oh, this is slippery. Wait there. Good lad, wait. Oh, is that gonna fall, mate? This is prop, doesn't look anything, this path, but this is proper slippery. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> there we go. What we found? Hmm? Sniff, sniff. Good, must be good. You must like it. Just detecting DNA. <laughs> there you go. He doesn't know. How funny. Um, but back to the Pocket 3, obviously, we're recording on now. The amount of stuff it can do is just nuts. <laughs> it's just brilliant. Obviously, everything from tracking, so you can put it on a tripod or a body thing and you can just track on well, the back of the car in its cage loads of stuff you can do with it um, motion lapse hyperlapse all the different things you can uh, do with it it's just absolutely incredible so these puddles here which have been deeper to be fair have been covering this lane for a good month or two now He likes to be on the left, but he walks around the back of it, it's really funny. There we go. Yeah, things are starting to grow again, which is good. But, at the same time, looking for the bluebells to pop up. Um, it should be the end of this month, but I don't know. I think the end of this month, into... I think he can literally smell everything. Look at this old, this, this old track, though, it's mad. Moss. Everywhere. It's just stunning, but in a, like a weird, mystical kind of way. And then you got the old flood there. Come on, this way. So, come on. So yeah, you got one of these flooded holes here. Good reflections, and it's just mud on top of mud now. I'm trying to walk on the harder stuff, but you can see, look, it's just. Mossy grass, which has been here for decades. If that's not rain again, he's got to check it. He's got to stop and smell, mark his territory, and everything. Um, yeah, we're going to walk down through here as we get into over the next month or so. When it does dry up, down there to the right is um, you can't really see it disappears down towards a stream. The other side of that. You can actually look from the other side and there's a huge i'm guessing a fox set but it looks very active 
and um, you know it's just looks good for photographs I think if you were to sit there early morning um, you might see some foxes especially as they have babies and stuff like that I think it'd be a really good spot I'm guessing it is I'm, I'm gonna need to get over, go over there and have a little closer look take a few photos and ask a few friends a little bit more wildlife um, savvy on it all come on this is trouble walking a dog and trying to hold a camera luckily the pocket 3 is tiny but I tried taking the RX10 with me which is fine but because he's on the lead and I can't really he's not my dog so I can't trust to take him off and let him go because I know there's so many deer in here and they've literally crossed their path and he just wants to go after him literally he wouldn't attack him he'd just chase him um because it's a game but it's just hard because he decides oh, I'll like the smell of that and he just yanks you so if you're holding the camera and or trying to hold the lead on the you know on the side of your hand kind of thing um they're probably just yanking my arm off because at the moment he's sniffing everything but he was a rescue dog from the age of six so um it's very difficult to train a dog he's doing pretty well to be fair um he just you know he knows this way and wait and things like that and stay a bit excitable when i first get there <laughs> he's going absolutely nuts because it's me um, and he knows I'm the knows that I'm the guy who takes him for the, for the walk in the woods that she loves. Um, but uh, yeah, he's um, he does all right. So basically, he was owned by a guy who apparently lost everything. I don't really know the full story on that side, but um, he. Oh, there's the deer. Don't know if you can see them. There, the other side of those trees. In between the gap, they might head over. He spotted them. <laughs> Haven't you? So they've gone. That's why the two times thing. Um, yeah, so basically the gentleman gave gave uh, Snoop up to the um, dog rescue place. And... Um, uh, lady and gent who um, took him on um, I've had him for a year or two but he's taken a while to obviously learn things but he's getting better but he's typically excited you know lab you know mention the word walk or something like that he goes nuts but it's the smells he loves the smells and if he'd actually seen those deer which you'll probably get the smell of them in a minute he kind of spotted them but I don't think he uh, really saw them because they didn't really run. They just walked away. The sun's coming out. Oh my god! Uh, yeah, a bit of light, which is nice. Look out through there. Oh, snoop! A little bit of sunlight coming through, which is really nice. Um, do you want me to do more of these videos? I'm just wondering. Me chatting away, but I just think they're good memories. You know, everything from going for a walk. To you know, with cameras and stuff, it's uh, just nice to do, you know. Um, I'm gonna cut this bit because, well, we get down to the bridge actually, we'll have a look at the river, then after that, I'll cut it because it's a bit boring after that for a little while, and then we'll start again. So, so, God, he's so he doesn't realize he's doing it, I don't think. But the deer are there, literally through there, as we've walked down, and I can see. Well, there's, there's tracks there, but they come across through here. They're so obvious, you can, where it's been so muddy, you can see where they've been running. Uh, you can see through here, they, in fact, that track there, literally. Yeah. Uh, about there. Um, there's one of them. Yeah, like he's found something. <laughs> what he found? Yeah. Good lad. Right, so this stream, this is what I was going to show you guys. Because um, you can go that way, but I'm not going to. One, because I think it's going to be flooded. So we'll go up here and then left. This is how much rain we've had. So, and I don't know if it's shown in any other videos I've put up before. 
but that's how high the the water is. Um, so yeah. So here, yeah. those two trees there, which I'm just going to zoom in in on, if I can. Those two trees there, right in the middle. That is normally like a S bend round. So the river at the other side of the trees will come round to the left and round them. And they've got about a two to three foot bank uh, the trees are in. And the, the river winds around them and then heads this way, like so. So it goes like that and around and then around the back of them and heads off over that way. So that's how deep it is at the moment. It's probably a metre deeper than it would be uh, on an average day. Um, oh yeah, more water. Um, anyway, we'll be back soon once I've found something else a bit more interesting because it just gets a bit boring now. So, if you can guess what this 4x4 four four was. Come here. Wait. Come here. Back. Back, 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 back. If you can guess what this is, by that little paint job there on that um, part of the body panel, let me know in the comments below. Um, it was a 19... Late 80s, 90s vehicle, I think, that age group. Uh, a smallish 4x4. I'll leave it there. So let me know in the comments below what you think it was. And, um, yeah. But on another note, check this. God's sake, stop going around in circles. Um, check that tree out. The one that's missing. Come here. I don't know if the camera... Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Hello. Let's trouble this. That tree there, you see the shape on it, it's mad, it's like twisted. It's died and snapped off the top. That's crazy. Snoopy, get out of there, come on. Bloody metal everywhere. Right, so we're going to carry on, look at the mud. I mean, that's nothing compared to what I've had to deal with a second ago. He don't care though. So, wait there. Um, on a good note, these Amazon boots, which were like 36 quid, anywhere between 36 and 50, are pretty bloody awesome. I bought two pairs. Uh, you ready? Come on, what can you smell? Right, we're going under this tree. Um, yeah, bloody awesome for the money. And where I used to wear very expensive scarper boots and stuff like that, these have been very comfortable. Um, Chinese and Chinese copies of whatever I suppose um, but like anything the, the machinery nowadays um, is so good they can knock up anything so you know it's uh, not always necessary now to um, buy the best because you can buy cheapish stuff for not a lot of money anyway um, I'm going to try and walk along here a bit without falling over. But the dog stop pulling me, it'd be nice. So, stop it. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll be back once we find the edge of the reservoir, which I can actually see. I don't know if you can through there. Probably not. Chirpy bird. It's just through those trees. So it's very, very full because that is normally dry ground. So it's normal, oh, it's there actually. Look at that, it's right between those trees. There is water and it still goes on and on through the woods. So the woods are flooded as well. So yeah, crazy. But anyway, good lad. As we go into the woods, it's actually drying out a little bit, which is nice. So this way, this way. I know you can smell stuff. Come here. Hello. No, uh, yeah, good boy. Where are you going? <laughs> there we go, he's going to, we're on the right track now. I think Labrador and country smells make a huge thing because he just, brain switches off and he just goes this way. That way. Um, it just goes into auto drive and he's just constantly smelling stuff not really paying attention to anything um, much going on. I think that tree fell down. 
It's not that long ago either. You're going to have to have a proper bath when we get back. Or a shower. And the crazy wood is, it's very old looking, but even though it's not that old, but it's just moss growing up everything. Oh, that stinks, that mud. You're going to, you're going to stinky, stinky dog. You know, the stagnant um, mud smell. Where are you going? This way. Actually, you're better move, actually. Good boy. Go on. Oh, go on. Where are we going? There we go. He made a better decision. Left. Snoop. That way. Snoopy. That way. Here we go. Snoop. This way. Come on. <laughs> so the bluebells are growing. This is all the greenery that's popping up. Well, I presume they are all the um, wooden enemies. Not really sure. Um, but everything is going greener, which is nice. Literally, the reservoir is here. Um, which is crazy, because that is normally, hang on, Snoop, come here. So the reservoir normally, and I will put the drone up at some point, when I come back out here. The edge of the reservoir when it's full, Snoop, come here. When it's actually full, are those trees 20 meters out? This is not normally underwater, which is mad. So those trees just there at the edge, if I can get it to zoom in, those trees there are um, where it normally is when it's full. So it's, it's way over full. You all right? Go for a swim? Thinking about it. <laughs> Actually, you wash the mud off. Good one. Wait, why have you... Good, good lad. No, no, go around. No, don't do it that way. Back round. There we go. Have a nice little drink. Come on, good lad. Come on. No. Yes. <laughs> it's because of the long lead. He, he doesn't... Well, actually, he's pretty good. He's pretty smart. He's funny when he gets his... Um, you know when dogs get their, the lead under their leg, in between their legs? He actually just stops and lifts his leg up. So it can be pulled out. So he's not stupid. What do you smell? Huh? Pretty mad. You coming? I might carry on recording because I put a 256 gig card in this, which gave gave me many hours worth of um, like six hours worth of uh, 4K video. Snoop this way. Come on. Yeah, come on. Um, about six hours worth of uh, recording time. Just so, if I want to do a trip or something, I've got plenty of recording time. I'm not likely to fill it up. Um, and it was like, on Amazon, £26 for a sand, sand disc one. Um, it's a legit one as well, it's not a copy or anything like that, but what a bargain. I'm tempted by a second one, so I've got plenty of space. You know, if you do more than a couple of days away, which means you can film shitloads. So. What have you found? What can you smell? Something. The way you're pulling. The UK, though, as a whole, is a very beautiful place. Even when it's muddy. But the reservoir is... I'm surprised this isn't under. It's not far off. It's only a few inches away. That's crazy. So, and there we go, the edge, which is not the edge. This is how flooded it is. Wait, so, what are you doing? This way, come here. No, this is where the brain doesn't connect. Where are you going? Go back round. Oh, that's it, tie knot. Go on, round you go. 
No, that way. There we go, there we go. Right, yeah, and as you can see. That's normally, you've normally got an edge as well, so yeah, crazy. Let's carry on around. See, come on. Well, we'll go for a good hour, but I thought, you know what, let's go for a bit further today. Um, now the weather's cleaned up a bit. It's, uh, it's quite cool. I keep walking through spider webs though. I don't know about you guys, if you're ever walking in the woods or whatever, it's always just bloody spider web because you're in the face where you're trying to uh, um, do stuff. Wow. Yeah, I've never seen it this far. Or this full, shall I say. Sleepy. Good lad. <laughs> That's mad. Absolutely crazy. It's encroaching on the path, which is 20 metres away or so from the edge of the actual reservoir. But it doesn't surprise me because we've had so much water since October. It's just nuts. Absolutely nuts. Bluebell, this would be bluebells, I think at some point in here so it should be quite pretty he's literally smell 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 probably other dogs to be fair but then some of it will be deer wait snoopy stop pulling check his tree out jesus it snapped off come here snoop this way this way this way come on Check that tree out for a snap. Wow. Crazy. Come on, this way. I don't think the um the actual pondy bit, which I'd normally go to, which is up here. Let's go have a look, shall we? Come on. So in theory, there should be some hedges, or hedges, sort of gorse bushes, I think they are, completely in the water. But you can see here, water is literally just pouring straight into the reservoir from through the woods. Snoopy. Well, I don't think we can get through there very easily. We'll have a look, shall we? More trees falling down. This way, come here. Good boy. That way. He's quite good at this way and that way. <laughs> oh, the squidginess. He's also quite a good um, ski lift on a hill. If you need a bit of a pull, he'll go and he'll just keep pulling. Just let him do it and off he goes. Yes, yeah, I think we're heading in the right direction. Oh, that was deep. So, I don't know if I want to go through there. Come here. I can go that way, can't I? <laughs> you are muddy. Um, right. Let's go this way. Up there. This way. Up there. Where are you going? Are you going right that way? Okay. That way. Nope. That guy. Here. Here. Come here. 
I mean, you want to go that way? Really? Okay. Where are we going? Check this tree out, though. Just found another tree. That's completely and utterly... Where is he going? Where are you going with this? Huh? You want to go that way? Okay. Check this out. Absolutely bonkers. Held up with one thing. Are we going that way? Shall we? Okay. You're in control. Oh, Jesus. It's quite funny, you let him walk sometimes and he generally finds the path again. Well done, we've got the path back. Yeah, check that out for puddles. Where are we going? Are we going that way? Someone's definitely bought a quad through here. Or something else maybe. That's then. Oh, really? Yeah, it's definitely a quad, it's a bit narrow. See, but I can't get across there. Come here. Here, here. Around that way. This way. Through here. Wait. Do that. Come on. This is nuts. No, this way. This way. That way. <laughs> oh. Bomb craters everywhere, look. They probably were. This, where are you going? Come back. You enjoying it? You having a nice time? Huh? This way. Come on. Wait. Why'd you take me there? It takes me the most direct route. Wait. Oh god. You thinking that way? I think this way. This way. Down there. I think, yeah, that's it. I think this might be the route. Possibly. There's trees and stuff there with blossom on. This way. This way. This way, come on. Ah, oh, I think this is correct. Except the oh, reservoir is properly. Oh, me. <coughs> Hang on. Snoopy, wait. He's like, I'm on a mission, I'm going. I think this is it. Oh, Christ. Oh, I get attacked by things. Brambles and things. I don't think we're going to get anywhere near. The place is like a really lovely little beach. Come here. Is it through there? Or did we just take a shortcut? Oh yeah, this is possibly it. See, I'm going to have to go wide steps because it's a bit slippy. There we go. And the brambles. Wait! Do you mind? I don't want to go skiing. Like mud skiing. Right, so yeah, this is pretty much it. But I always wonder 
Yeah, here we go. Snoopy, here. What that was. I don't know if you can see it there. Bricks. Like that. Curved brickwork. Obviously very old. Probably a circle. Maybe it was a pumping area or something. Or a filtering system. I don't really know. Come here. Round we go. There we go. The water's literally just flowing in. But there's a lot more brickwork here than you think. Look. Lots of it. It's all been smashed up over the years. Oh yeah, here we go. <laughs> and that's where the little beach is through there. I wonder if we can get through actually. Alright, see, this way. Yep. Oh, don't do that. Can we get through? I don't know if we can. Come here. Might be able to go that way. Maybe a little bit through. You don't want to go? Go on. Yeah, here we go. There's the sort of gorsy bush. Bushes I was talking about. <laughs> Is that nice? <laughs> that was deeper than you thought, wasn't it? <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's a line of gorse bushes, I presume. Um, and right out there, past this tree branch, right to the end of those gorse bushes is literally where it's dry. So it's quite mad on how how much we've got in it. And people are going, oh, it's only coming this far, but how many thousands of gallons deeper is it to make it this much wider? Is that a fish? You get done by a fish? What's that, Snoops? Is that a fish? Where is it? Is it a fish? Oh, get it! Oh, didn't mean to do that again. Are you liking it? That's probably a fish, though. <laughs> probably freaked him out. Oh, dear. Come on. How funny. But it's kind of hidden away, it's quite nice. Obviously people look, they've been here before, had a little campfire, and found some of the bricks, and decided to leave a paddle here as well. Bizarre, but anyway. But yeah, there's a cool little hidden hidden area. Uh, we'll go back the way we came. But anyway, that's kind of my little adventure out in the woods, um, with the Pocket 3 and Snoopy. What you found? Hmm? We're not going to go through there because I remember going through there in the summer and it was a mission then. See? Wait. Wait. You that? You going in? Going back in? See? See? Wait. Go in. Go. On. Go. On. Have a look. Fun. <laughs> oh, it's got shaked on. But yeah, what a cool thing. I'm going to take a couple of photos of this because I've not actually done any stills with it. Should look fantastic, I would imagine, because DJI stuff does generally. You can smell something out there. <laughs> Where are you going? Huh? You had enough now. You just, you just want to go home. Huh? Have a little drink. There we go. Right, 
I'm going to be let's skip this away and then we'll head back through the mud and stuff. But uh, yeah, well, we're heading back now out of the woods. Um, yeah, definitely got a bit. Oh, if you let me, a bit muddy. Snoopy is Snoopy. Yeah, come here. You are coated. Yes, you are. Yeah, state of that. <laughs> and he went in the and he went in the reservoir. Remember, it's so washed off the first layer. So, yeah, uh, not a bad little walk, which was nice. Hour and, about an hour and 45 minutes down into the woods, through the mud, and then back again. So, yeah, the uh, just put it in context, I don't know how many minutes I've recorded, but the um, Pocket 3 is now on uh, half battery. So, I'll, I'll look when I go back and add it all up, and we get a rough idea of how long it can record in 4K. Uh, 4K30 anyway. So anyway, um, hope you liked the video. Bit of a bit of adventure, I guess. And um, don't forget to click the subscribe button. More camera stuff coming soon. Now, hopefully, the weather has some blue sky involved. Should be nice. Um, yeah, I'll see you soon.